Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. Today we're going to talk about our free PCB giveaways and show you how we mail out these boards. We get all of our PCBs from Seed Studio's Fusion PCB service. They make very inexpensive boards at a local fab house in Shenzhen, China. A lot of manufacturers use this fab house, not just Seed, so if you send your Gerbers to IT or any, no any number of competitors, it'll all go to the same board house and you'll get the same PCBs. We use Seed ser service and for uh, 10 5 cm by 5 cm PCBs, you can get them starting at 99 cents each. Uh, with shipping included, that's a box of 10 PCBs shipped anywhere in the world for usually less than 14 bucks, depending on your shipping method. We get ours in about two weeks turnaround time, sometimes a week longer depending on shipping and customs delays. And when we get our boards, we get packs of 10 like this, sometimes in a Ziploc baggie, sometimes vacuum packed like this. We usually have 50% e-test done, and the e-tested ones have a line on the side like this to show they're tested. Lately we've noticed that Seed Studio has been e-testing 100% of the boards. But because we get 10 of each design and we only need two or three to make our prototype, we end up with a lot of extra boards. So when we first started Dangerous Prototypes, we started giving them away as a publicity piece. Every Sunday we give away two PCBs on the blog to the first two commenters or two random commenters or something like that. But after a while it occurred to us that we had so many PCBs that uh, we could give people an option. So we started a Zencart uh, online store, scanned all our PCBs, did an inventory, and put them online. So this is the actual free PCB drawer as it physically exists. This is where all the PCBs are kept. And now we have more than that. So we have PCBs over here and we have a whole desk full of PCBs down there too. But uh, this is where it all started. This is the original free PCB drawer where you could reach in and pull out your free PCB. Now it doesn't just have PCBs in it. Uh, it's got practice chips for soldering practice, shock sent these along. We've also got rolls of tweets in here from the Thermal Tweeter project where people twittered in and it printed out. We rolled some of those up and put them in here. And we give away coupons now so you can use it to check out at the store. We give away two by Twitter on Tuesday, two by Facebook on Friday, and if you hate social networking, join us on the blog. Every Sunday we give away two in the comments there as well. Now I'm going to clear off the workbench and get out the stuff we use for mailing PCBs and show you how we do it. We've already got a tutorial up about this if you'd rather read it and we'll include a link down below. Now I've got out our free PCB supplies. We've got the circuit board to mail, a sturdy envelope, the thicker the better, some tape to hold the PCB in, we've got the return address and the mailing address on labels. We also like to throw in a business card and a sticker along with our free PCBs now. So the first step is we're going to put a piece of masking tape across the back of the PCB. The reason we use the tape is because automated mail sorting equipment sucks the envelopes through really fast and if this PCB isn't held in place the ends and the edges will just tear through as it hits the back of the envelope in the, in the sorting equipment. So we find that if we tape it down, it, it has a much better chance of making it there. It also adds a little reinforcement to the envelope in case the envelope does get torn, the PCB just doesn't fall out the corner right away. We always try to put the masking tape on the non-solder surface. This is through hole, so we'll put the tape on the top like that. We've got a little bit extra on either side. We'll open up the envelope and tape the PCB in. Try to put it down against the bottom edge. And we don't make it perfect, we just try to make sure the tape is holding it in there. And then in with a business card and a sticker. Both of these things also kind of help protect the PCB it gives the envelope more rigidity. Seal the envelope. Now, return address. In this corner. The address label is actually a really important part of the PCB mailing. We use it along with the tape behind the PCB inside the envelope to create a pocket that protects the PCB and so when it goes through mail sorting equipment the edges hit the tape and it helps it ramp through instead of slamming directly against the paper and the board. That's really improved the number of PCBs that actually get to their, to their destination. So, when we apply the label, you see you can maybe see the PCB edges right here and goes to here. 
we'll try to just put this right over that whole PCB and create a nice little pocket where the PCB is between the tape on the back and the label on the front. This one's all ready to go. We do about uh, 40 of these a month now. Some months we do as many as 50. If you're trying to get your hands on a free PCB code, we give away two every Tuesday on Twitter, two every Friday on Facebook, and if you don't like social networking, uh, we give away two right in the blog comments every Sunday. Now once you've got your free PCB code, be sure and build it up, post a picture, and we'll send you another free PCB code. It's like unlimited free PCBs for the people who build them up. Next week we'll be back with an extra special surprise. Thanks for watching.